Ladies and gentlemen, the other week, God sent us a gift. No, he didn't solve world hunger. No, he didn't bring world peace. No, he didn't find a solution to global warming. What he did bring us was a brand new album. Now, of course, I'm talking about the man, the myth, the legend, Flume. And as you probably know, he brought out his album Palaces the other week. So I thought this is a great excuse to do a, another Flume video. The real OG fans of the Savage channel will remember my old video, How To Flume. Now that was one of the first videos I did on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to make a track in the style of Flume, obviously. But more specifically, I'm gonna try and recreate the style he's thrown down on his new album, Palaces. So um, let's get into it, I think. Alright, we are in the FL studio, let's make some music like Flume. So the first place I want to start in this track is, I want to build it around a vocal. Now I would describe this album from Flume as a, a lot more poppy, Flume's teamed up with a lot of vocalists, it's definitely nowhere near as experimental as this mixtape, which makes it a whole lot easier for dumb YouTubers like myself to go ahead and recreate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw in an acapella. I'm gonna use the song Gemini, and this is a song by Kaka. If that is how you say it, I hope it is. So you wanna be someone, really wanna hold on to, so I'm fair. So you wanna know what it's like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw down some chords to go with the acapella to really just create a vibe. So these chords are a stack of three different layers of So I'm going to pair these chords with the acapella and I'm going to fade them in as the verse sort of progresses along. So you want to be someone Really want to hold on to so I'm fed. The next thing I want to add is just a bass. This is going to follow the exact same bass notes as the chords are. And I found this really cool preset. It's actually from a, a Flume preset pack that I've somehow acquired in my serums folder. Be someone Really want to hold on to so I'm now I want to source up these vocals a little bit. I have put in an acapella. It's a pitched up version of my original acapella and then I just have a normal duplicate version of my acapella. And they are running into this channel with a little bit of distortion and some reverb. So I'm fed. So you want to know what it's like. Really want to see yourself in the picture. All right, we need a little bit more source on this little intro section. I want to keep it really simple, but I just think it needs a little bit of sprinkles or something. So I've just done this little trickle thing with these glassy plucks. And I've also added this weird little arp. It's just not really playing anything in particular. It's just out there chilling having a good time. Be someone Really wanna hold on to so I'm fed Alright, as we are moving towards a little break section here, I wanted to put some drums just as a little percussive element. Cool little thing that I've been noticing Flume do on his drums, it's actually to put like some delay on, some really quick delay. And what I've put on is just a Serum FX delay. You'll see that the delay timing is quite quick, 1 64th. And what I'm doing is automating this feedback knob to get more or less delay on the snare. So we start down low and then we can get real, real weird with it. Easy to do. 
All right, so we've got into the end of our sort of intro verse section, and now we're coming into a little break. So in the song Sirens, all the sort of weight of the drop is cut away, and it sort of fades in, and then it hits really hard. I really love that effect. And now I'm realizing that's sort of what I did in my original How To Flume tutorial. I sort of cut everything before the drop, and then slammed it right in there. So maybe Flume took a little bit of inspiration on watching a How To Flume video. Probably not, but who would know? All this is is elements from my drop and they're just playing in a very filtered and very thinned out sort of style and that is just teasing the drop and sort of transitioning from that verse into the heavy drop. So as you can see, I've got this endless smile automation on the master and that's basically controlling the intensity of how it feels it's building up. One little interesting thing I did here was actually automate the master stereo separation. So everything sort of closes off and goes towards the center and when the drop hits, it goes wide again and it feels huge. Right, let's not waste any more of your guys time. Let's go into how to make a flume drop because that's what you want to see. So keeping in line with the sort of pop style that Flume is demonstrating on this album, I wanted this drop to be a sort of chorus section. So what I have is the chorus vocal acapella singing its way throughout. Now there's little extra vocals here is just the pitched up version of the acapella. Right, so let's go into these drums. First off, we have this big Chungus Boy kick. He is thick, he is heavy, he needs to be on Weight Watchers. Then I have this very metally snare that's sort of doing two hits, going like dong, dong. Next part was to add some percussive elements. I've just got some hi-hats in here, and they're sort of creating a little bit of rhythm, I guess you could say. They're just sort of chilling in there, being hi-hats. So all those drums I just mentioned are going into this drum channel and they're just going through into this saturation and they're getting chunked. They're getting chunked up. Then I've just added a shaker loop. You'll notice that my drums are sort of off beat. I've dragged the shaker loop so it's not on the beat. It's sort of creating a bit of swing. Same with the hi-hats. Now it's time to get into these 808s. This is almost the whole reason I made this video. It was to try and make these 808s that Flume's been using. I think we first heard them in the blue remix that he did. Those just had crazy 808s on it with just crazy distortion and resonance and just crazy things happening. That's what we come to expect from Flume. So obviously I'm just using sample 808s, so I've just pitched them accordingly to the notes that I want. So the first thing I did was slap on a Serum FX and I've just put some chorus on it that's just going to make them wide and sort of doing weird things already. And then I put a reverb filter on it. You're going to notice that we're just progressively making things more and more weird. Then I put a tube distortion on that's gonna thicken them up. Right, step two, another Serum FX. This is a Combs filter. Now I know why, it's to absolutely smash it. I mean, look at that through the master, it's just clipping its brains out. 
Step three is another CMRF fix and it's a combs filter as well. This time it's actually gonna be automating the cutoff and that is what is gonna drive the sort of weirdness of the sound. You're gonna hear it ring, you're gonna hear it change character and that's what we want to do throughout the drop. Then I've whacked on a punch and this is a hard limiter and you'll see that this is just controlling the sound, it's making the thickness of the 808 the same the whole way through. Don't ask me what the hell I was doing with this effects change because I have no idea really, it just sort of happened. You know there may be someone sitting here going what the hell is this dude doing here, he has no idea what he's doing. You're absolutely correct, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> So the next step is these little granular plucks, I guess you could call them. I started off by just loading up some Quanta's. This just got the acapella in it. So these acapellas running through Quanta are just in different positions for each. And these ones are pitched up. Together they're sort of creating a chord, I guess you would say. Now I'm not even sure if these are in key going with these note changes. You know, since I'm making flow music, you just gotta keep it weird. Just keep everything weird. It doesn't have to sound normal. So I guess the most important part of this granular is the LFO tool. Um, this is just a switching between different rates of automation. And it's just got the shape, as you can see, and it makes it like real plucky. It takes it from a granular chord into a granular pluck. Last but definitely not least, just some drop chords. These are just some nice, just some nice chill chords. You know, you gotta do something normal and in this case it was the chords. All right, that's essentially all the heavy hitters there. Then I've just got some just like source elements, you know, just exhaust riser things some big claps. Once we do eight bars, I throw in a tambourine loop that's sort of offbeat as well, just to add to the sort of momentum of the drop. And keeping with the weirdness, I just wanted to do something weird for the end of the drop to get out of it. So I slapped a serum FX on the master. I know, it's basically an illegal move, but I did it anyway. It's a chorus and it's just gonna automate this depth up. Uh, you can see the settings I've got there, completely random, didn't know what I was doing, again. I'm also EQing the instruments out and obviously automating that depth. And also I'm not putting full mix on this effect because it sounds ridiculous if you do. <laughs> But no, I kept it chill boys and I went only 34% and it sounds like this. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is our flume track. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is just one of the weirdest sessions I've ever had on FL Studio. But I think that's quite fitting for a flume tutorial. I mean, flume has long been someone who is just breaking the barriers of electronic music, just coming out with the newest and weirdest sounds that you could imagine. And he makes it sound really, really good. So I'm gonna play you the final result now and you can judge how I did on my flume track. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy and just get weird ladies and gentlemen just get very very weird so you want to be someone really want to hold on to so i'm there so you want to know what it's like Really wanna see yourself in the picture Couldn't understand why the shadow would cover him this time Couldn't understand what a safety the ego provides him Easy to deny, to deny when it benefits your life Harder to decipher the truth when it's buried with lies So you wanna be someone
Yeah.